Let's make an image today which is similar to an image made with SDXL. We will use DreamShaper 8 today. So, let's copy the prompts of this image. Select your favorite sampling method. Enable Control Net. Select Control Type Canny. I am setting some parameters I found best for Canny. Drag and drop this image into Control Net. Let's generate the image. Let's add Detail Tweaker Laura to add little more detail. This image is fine. I drag and drop this image into Control Net. Copy and paste the seed of this image. Enable High Res Fix. I select 4x Ultra Sharp Upscaler. Set high res steps to 10. Denoising strength to 0.3. I am upscaling the image by 1.5x. Selecting the same sampling method for high res fix. Copy the same prompts into high res fix prompts. You can enable these features from settings, then user interface. Check these options then apply and restart UI. OK, let's click Generate. Let's send this image into image to image. I think the eyes need to be fixed. So I am sending this image into in paint to fix the eyes. OK, let's send this image into image to image. Copy the same prompts again here. But we are not using Laura here.
We will use same sampling method. Uncheck Restore Faces. Keep denoising strength low. Enable Control Net. Select Control Type Tile. Select Control Net is more important. Select Ultimate SD Upscale in the script. Select Scale from Image Size. I set it to 1.5. And I am selecting the upscaler for X Ultra Sharp. Let's click Generate. Then send this image into image to image again. Don't change anything and click generate again. So, in conclusion, we can generate awesome images without SDXL. SDXL needs lots of RAM to work properly. With a nice model and proper method, we can still generate nice images. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.